my name is Arielle. And I'm Tammy. And we're educators at the National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C. Our museum has a special job of teaching people about the experience, history, and culture of African Americans today and in the past. One part of African American culture is holidays like the holiday of Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is a holiday that honors and celebrates African American history and culture. It takes place every year and lasts seven days from December 26th to January 1st. This is a holiday that is very special to many Black families and communities who celebrate the holiday week with different rituals, music, activity, and food. But people of all identities are welcome to celebrate Kwanzaa as well and observe it as a time to learn more about Black history and experiences and celebrate the contributions of African Americans in the past and today. On each night of Kwanzaa, you learn about and celebrate a different Kwanzaa principle. The Swahili word for these principles is Nguzo Saba. Kwanzaa principles are different values within African American communities that are honored during Kwanzaa, but should be practiced all year long. On each of the seven days of Kwanzaa, people tell stories, share poems, and sing songs about one of the principles or values. We remember and celebrate our history and our ancestors and how they use that principle to live and accomplish many things. We, are, we also think about how we can live by those values today. The names of these principles are in Swahili and include umoja, which means unity, kujichagulia, which means self-determination, kaumba, which means creativity, and a few more. Every day, you can greet somebody by saying habari gani, which means what's the news, and they'll say the principle back to you. There are many important rituals and decorations and events during Kwanzaa, and one of those is lighting the kanara. A kanara is a candle holder with seven candles, one for each night of Kwanzaa. Every night we light a candle on the kanara and we talk about and celebrate a different principle. On the sixth day, there's a feast. And on the seventh day of Kwanzaa, people exchange gifts. The gifts are usually books and items that are handmade or celebrate African American culture. Kwanzaa is such a special time. One of the things I love about Kwanzaa is the way it helps me to be proud and confident in who I am. And I love the way it brings my family and community together. We hope Kwanzaa will do the same for you and yours. To learn more about Kwanzaa and enjoy activities to celebrate each principle, check out our other Namak Kids Kwanzaa videos. Thank you for sharing this time with us. We wish you a happy Kwanzaa.